Right, that's the bracket for the back axle and the intermediate gear. So I now need to print the intermediate gear. Well, that's the intermediate gear. So this is our intermediate gear mechanism. You see it's turning the back axle. I'm taking the wheels off at the moment. And then if we lift this up, it engages. So that looks okay. So I'll put wheels on it. Uh, I'll shorten this. It doesn't need to be the full bicycle spoke length. <laughs> And we'll see if it runs. This arm is a little bit loose and it's twisting. I put that bend in it to make sure that the gear disengages when it comes right down, but then allows for all of this up here. Yeah, that probably doesn't make any sense, but that's why I did it. Well, we'll see if it works. Just try and point it in the right direction. Need to move that forwards just to the point where it starts to tip. Because while it's vertical, it's got no um, inclination to go that way. So we don't actually get any power until it's moved over a little bit. There we go. Well, there's a good chance that if we point it in the right direction, it might do the full distance. I might have to adjust the wheels a little bit. While I'm aligning things, I tap, tap one side and then the other to get the, um, to get the alignment, <laughs> to get the steering. And at the moment, that's going left a bit. So I need to tap just there to straighten it up. Right, that's the tipping point. So stop it there. Let it go. Nearly went all the way. Right. So we know what we got to do. I'll line it up a bit better. Going to go. Oh, it is going to go. That's better, and then the rest of it's freewheeling. So, we did the distance. Uh, so it works. Can we go back the other way? Because there's nothing to stop me adding extra weights to give it more power. or lengthening the arm, which is what I said right at the beginning, I could put a longer arm on it.
yeah so that works um just talking about lengthening the arm you know i could just tape that on there and that would give it much more power but we don't need to because it does the distance so if you want it to go further you could add more weight or you could lengthen the arm and this is the important bit the fact that that comes free so it can freewheel at the end of the run I see the back Back gear is disconnected now from the power gear. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.